Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to look at attaching a hardware RAID to an iPhone. This is an idea I've kicked around before, but as it turns out I have the whole of my schedule right now. I have several things I want to bring to you, but not all the pieces are in place. So I circled back around to this, and fortunately I was able to find this device for only $23 on Amazon, the Calvary unit, and it looks like one of those hard drive to USB adapters, but on the back you can see it really is a RAID, and you configure it with these dip switches here. So this device can do RAID 0, RAID 1, and JBOD, which means just a bunch of disks. RAID 0 takes all the disks and makes one large disk with it. JBOD acts kind of like a USB hub where all the disks show up separately. But that's not very interesting, so we're going to do a RAID 1, and that's going to be where all the drives are mirrored, so that when you copy data to the one drive that shows up on your host, it's copied among all the drives. And that's more or less what think, people think of when they think of RAID, is that kind of data redundancy. So let's get started. I've got two 250 gigabyte Western Digital SATA drives, so let's put them in. And we'll turn it on. And we'll plug it in to the iPhone, to the USB to Lightning adapter. Go in the Files app and see if it shows up. Okay, there it is. So let's go over to my Photos app, and I've got a video of an old pinball game I purchased recently, and let's copy that to the RAID. So we'll go to the Share Sheet, Save to Files, RAID, we'll hit Save. Okay, let's go back to the Files app, go into RAID, there's the video, and everything looks good. Okay, so how do we know it's actually on both drives? Well, we can test that too. I can switch this array back into JBOD mode and we can look at each drive separately to confirm that that movie file is in fact on both hard drives. So we'll disconnect here. Kill the power. I'm going to rotate it back around and I'm going to change one dip switch setting so that it goes into JBOD mode. And then we'll take out one of these discs. We'll turn it back on. Let's plug it in. There it is. There's the video. And everything looks fine. Okay, so let's try the other hard drive.
And there it is on the second disc. And everything looks fine. So yes, the RAID 1 does work fine on the iPhone. We can copy data to it and we have confirmed that it is independently on both drives. So it is working as we'd expect. So that's all for today and probably for the rest of the year. So if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. I'll be back in the new year with some more hopefully entertaining videos, but that's all for now. Take care.